Okay, this is the linear law question for SBM MX. Okay, for whoever uh, watching this video, I hope you already watched the first one. Actually, I'm I do explain more detail in the first one. This is second one. Okay, basically both video is the same thing i will choose some complicated questions about the linear law to like teach students how to solve the complicated question in linear law all right so just make sure you you already watch the first one before you come to this one all right so on here you see a question so i'm going to like go through this question the table show the values of two variable x and y and obtains from the experiment they are non then they are no they are, they are non i think this is non to be related by the equation y over p plus x squared equals to 2qx where p and q are the constant so over here it's very important to know that x and y is a constant uh, it's a variable all right because because la later what we need to do is we we always need to for linear law we always need to like differentiate what is y equals to m x plus c so what we know is for y and x we can only take variable and m and c we can only take constant this one i already mentioned in the first video all right so over here we have this equation so the problem is how are we going to arrange this equation into the y equals to mx plus c form so over here what we know is we can only have two variable which is y and x we cannot make our c have variable also because c is the constant value yes the y-intercept is always like one value fixed already, so we call it constant value. All right, variable value means actually the coordinate can ch can be changed. All right, so I'm going to write down this equation and show you how am I going to do this. So what I will do is I will actually move the p plus x squared to the other side. So this one will equal to two qx multiple p plus x squared. All right, so and then I try to multiply in see what will happen later so this one multiple p multiple p and then plus this one will be 2 q x q all right from here the problem is three of uh three of the algebra over here also got variable you see either x or y or all is considered variable so this one got variable this one got x as a variable this one f x cube variable mean we cannot live in this form we can only have two variable so what I can do is, I know here only have one x. If I divide x for everything, then I will have no variable. Or you can actually try to divide y for everything. You can do that also. B both equation is correct. Both will give you the straight line. But then normally I will divide x will look simple. So I will got y over x equals to, okay, divide x. This one divide x, we got no more x. So we got 2qp plus. This one divide x, we got 2q x squared. All right, now this is y. And then we know that beside x squared is m, so 2q is m. And then this one, obviously, this one is a c. So we have got y equals to m x plus c. The whole thing is a c. So over here, you might know that, okay, this is y, and then this one is m this is x and this is c do you see that yes if you divide y you can get it but then the equation might look more simple so i recommend you to do this way so after you got y equals to mx plus c already what you need to do is you have to re rebuild your table okay you have to rebuild your table so if your y if a y over here, the new y will be y over x, right? So what you need to do is you have to use the y value divided by x value. Alright, if this is x squared, what you need to do is you have to square every single one. Okay, after you construct a new table, okay, you take a graph paper and then you have to make the skew by yourself. Alright, so after you make the skew by yourself and then you just blot it and then you got a straight line and then on the part B, he will ask you to find the value P and Q as usual. So in order to save time, I already like make out this thing so okay this equation is exactly this equation do you see that all right so i'm going to take out this one okay so this is what happened okay you can you can compare the ta their table this is x right so now my horizontal axis is x squared so i just square every single value and then my vertical axis is y over x right so you can t see that actually i take my 
y value divided by my x value so every single one I do the same so after that I will got this value all right and then after I got this I want to scratch the graph so I want to sketch the graph my horizontal acid the maximum value is 5 minimum value is 0 because I do not have negative here so I know my graph is roughly from here to here if I do not have negative value all right so then this is 5 right so it's very simple I just use 1 2 3 4 5 I mean 2 cm for 1 unit all right and then my y what are my horizontal uh, my vertical acid will, will be y over x minimum is 0 of course and the maximum is 6 so from here if I use like 4 cm for for one unit I will be not enough because here only have 12 12 uh, 12 box something like this all right so what I will do is I will do a simple like one 2 cm for one unit as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right so after that you got the skill ready you just plot it you got something like this okay let me zoom in just to make sure you can see it clearly okay yes you will, you will see that this is one two three four five this is one two three four five six seven because my higher value is six point two and then i just plot it all right and then you, of course you have to understand what is the meaning for best fit all right best fit means actually you have to make sure your line pass through as many points as possible and then your left hand and then your left hand side and right hand side the point you miss out must be balanced here you can see actually my left hand side only miss out one point and then my right hand side got um got no point i miss out maybe this one is if you calculate this one yes mean yeah one in left and one in right so this one is called balance so this one we call it best fit all right after i draw the best fit okay you got two information which is very important one is you must make sure this line actually touch the uh, vertical acid because later you have to find c and then you have to find the gradient so gradient actually you can take uh, two value which you think is quite easy for you to read okay but but the two value you take must be online all right so in the first video actually i i teach you how to take from the line so now actually the other method is okay actually you can straight away take the coordinate you will make your gra gradient is very accurate so i take this i take this coordinate and this coordinate so i'm going to draw a simple triangle i'm going to draw a simple triangle a right triangle for it just to show you actually i take these two coordinate all right all right okay you can see actually i take these two coordinate and then here is 90 degree of course here you draw draw dash line i just accidentally draw the full line all right so then you find gradient okay gradient is very simple okay maybe i use the black color you will see it better the red color somehow is very hard to see all right so of course you have to know what is your these two coordinate okay this i just write out the coordinate for you to ed to read so the first one is actually one and three three point one three and then this coordinate i take actually is the four and five point three all right so we know it's y y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then i can use my calculator to easily get the gradient 5.3 minus 3.13 and then minus this is three ah minus uh, is wrong is divide three right because this is three right so i believe my gradient is uh zero point seven two three maybe all right yeah all right let me just press one more time to double confirm is it correct five point three minus three point one three and then divided by three yes this is correct all right after i got my gradient i have to read my uh vertical acid value so what is this value means the line actually will pass by over here so you have to read this value so we know this is uh every single one represent 0 0.1 right so this one obviously is 2.4 you can see that this one actually is 2.4 all right so i just i just draw here and then i just write this one as 2.4 all right so over here i will got some information First I got is my gradient will equals to 0 0.723 and then my my vertical acid will equals to 2.4 all right so over here the question asks you to find p and q so from here 
What is your gradient? Your gradient will be 2Q, right? Your gradient will be 2... Oops. Your gradient will be 2Q, right? Okay, let me zoom out. If not, it will be quite hard for you to see. Okay. From here, your, your gradient is 2Q. So I know 2Q equals M. So what I do is, so since 2Q is equals to M, then 2Q will equals to 0 0.723. Then I can find Q is easily by using my calculator to divide 2. So 0 0.723 divided by 2, I will got the answer is, okay, maybe it's 0 0.362. All right, and then I have to find my C. This, the whole thing over here is a C, isn't it? So 2P, 2PQ or 2QP is a C. So this is my C, right? So I'm going to write 2QP equals to 2.4 because they are equal to C. And I got my Q value. I'm going to substitute. It's 0.362P equals to 2.4. All right, then it's quite simple. Then you just, you want to find the value of P, you just move whatever you do not want to the other side. So P actually equals to 2.4, divide the whole thing. Alright, so 2.4 over, this one multiple 2 actually, you are, 2Q actually you got ready, is 0.723. And then you press the calculator, you can easily get the answer for P. So this one is divided by 0.723. So the calculator will show that your value is 3.32 yes this is the answer for P and the answer for Q all right so this is how we solve actually actually in linear law the the process of you solve the linear law actually is always the same all right the first the first process is always the question will ask you to solve the equation into the y equals to mx plus c form you can see he will give you an equation and you always need to solve because in this question he didn't mention what they want for a vertical acid or horizontal acid so you have to define it by yourself you just need to understand y and x is the variable mean mean you can put whatever like y square x square or y square over x square as long as they are variable it's fine and m and c must be constant that means you cannot have x and y for m and c right after you can solve it and arrange it into y equals to m x plus c form what you need to do is you're going to re rebuild the table okay after you rebuild the table like this so you rebuild the table you just need to plot your graph but before you plot your graph, you have to know what is your minimum value for horizontal acid and what is your minimum and maximum value for vertical acid. And then you skew it yourself. So I would recommend you to use a skew something like 2CM for 1 unit or 2CM for 5 unit or 2CM for 2 unit. Okay, I not recommend like 2CM for 3 and 2CM for 4 unit. It's like very hard for you to calculate. Every single small box is 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Somehow it's very hard to add up for the value you want but if you are really good in calculation like 0 0.3 multiple 6 or 8 then, then maybe you can try 3 and 4 but then I'm not no, not so recommend alright so after that you got it already so obviously we know we from graph here we have to find our gradient so after you find a gradient we have to make sure our this line is best fit and then we touch the vertical acid we will find out our vertical acid intercept so basically it's C so after we find M and C, we just write down what is our M and C. And then from the equation we find just now, we already rearranged in the Y equals to M X plus C. So we just put, just do the comparison. Uh. So like M equals to 2Q. So 2Q equal to this one, you can get Q easily. Same as C. Your C is equal to 2PQ, right? So 2PQ equals to 2.4. And then solve it, you can easily get the value for P and Q. Right, it's not really hard. You can find out that almost all the linear questions in the paper too, they they serve the same purpose, and then they they actually will want you to do back the same thing. Just maybe he give you the equation is harder, or just sometimes like this, he ne never give you what they want for horizontal acid and vertical acid. All right, I hope this video can help you better understanding about the linear law. All right, yeah, thanks for watching.